What's up guys, it's Saturday and I'm going out for a drive with this E93 335. It's full bolt-on, six-speed manual, and I'm still running boot mode stage one, uh, down pipe, muffler delete, charge pipe, and intake. So this is gonna be fun. Oh, it's also an auto. I don't know if you see my other videos, but. Quick stop for some gas, and we'll be hitting the back roads shortly. <laughs> On days like these is when I miss having a manual. Driving on curvy roads with the six B and that third pedal, you can't beat that man. I mean, yeah, the ZF is spectacular. Hands down, best transmission in this car's class when it was new. But man, a manual right now would be really, really nice. to mention he's also on MHD so he's got the verbal set Woo! damn I think he's loud let's see if we can keep up with him corner bump a little sketchy on the stock suspension man I need to lower this thing that was a quick little pull right there to uh, like 12 miles an hour all right so I'm gonna attempt a little pull here downhill we'll go from like uh, let's see 60 and on it. Hey, stage one, this thing's a little quick, man. Like, just for a stage one tune, something you can run with just, just a charge pipe, this car's pretty quick. So I can't wait till I go stage two from mount. Oh, those M54 burbles are so loud. Situations always leaving me in frustration. I ain't about this, and you know I ain't too good with patience. Why does this happen? These things happen. I gave you chances, and you left me hanging. I'm trying to find out where.
went in to take some pictures in some grass area. I'm gonna do some launches. All right, launch control, sport. Sport Plus, S1 on the transmission, brake all the way down, foot mast. <laughs> I spun the entire first gear. All right, so I just tried launching and it was a huge fail. I just spun the entire first gear, so I'm gonna turn around and see if we can get a better run. All right, so let me get a quick little like, first gear pull. Clean the tires off. And now we'll try another launch. And S1, Sport Plus, brake all the way down, gas all the way down, launch control. clarification I'm running uh, Palace downpipe and muffler delete I don't know if I said it already in the video I'm pretty sure I did but just so you know if you have an M55 or 235 you want it to sound like that that's all you got to do the grills are not black those are burger intakes um, yeah okay yeah I see the and the Lucian uh, race works uh, charge pipe, pipe. Valve, blow off valve. oh so you have a blow off valve too yeah okay I didn't get and then wait what downpipes do you have uh, VRSF okay I have VRSF also Catalyst right Oh wow, that's has a little weight to it. So I just got out of the E93 and back into this and yes that steering might be a little more dialed in. I think this chassis is better all around as a car. I mean that one is probably the stronger stiffer chassis and I know I'm probably going to get hosed in the comments for saying that the F30 is better than the E90 but I really think I mean this car is just as good or if not better than that E90. I mean, it's an E93, so yeah, it weighs a lot, and it's a little less stiff in comparison to the E92 or E90, but man, the F30 is impressive. I gotta say, it really is. No one, no one gives it credit. Also, what I did notice, engine built boost in a whole different way than the N54 does. The N54, around like 3,000, I'd get into it, nothing, 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 and then boom. It would kick and it would hit hard for sure that car pulls stronger in the higher rev range but this car feels really powerful down though it really does for having a single turbo as opposed to twin twin turbos it really is no slouch all right so we just finished up with the drive pretty fun man gonna head home now I should be on my own Everybody tells me I should do this journey alone Why does this happen? These things happen I gave you chances